Welcome back. In this economy, every dollar counts. And that's no different when it comes to efficiently running your farm equipment. Our friends at John Deere have tips on how you can get the most out of your farm equipment and save at the pump. High fuel prices have made many farmers and ranchers change the way they work their land. This was especially true when diesel prices hit the $4 a gallon price last summer. Thankfully, prices have dropped. But one thing is for certain. It's a matter of time before prices go back up. That's why many farmers and ranchers are taking proactive steps to manage their fuel consumption. The easiest way to save fuel is, of course, to turn the tractor off. There's simply no need to leave your tractor idling while taking breaks or eating lunch. Other ways to save fuel include reducing the number of trips you make across each field by using combination tillage tools or combining tillage with nutrient application, as in strip-till. You also can streamline your transport chores so you're not wasting trips between fields. And if you've got more than one size of tractor, you can match each tractor to each job. For example, a larger horsepower tractor is great for taking on jobs that require a lot of power. But if you've got smaller chores at hand, they can use less fuel than a smaller tractor that's operating under full load if you properly set up the larger tractor for the implement or attachment and run in the ideal gear. We'll get to that in a minute, but first, let's talk about ballasting. Improperly ballasted tractors can waste fuel. In addition, too much weight on the tractor can increase rolling resistance and may cause power hop. This is true for both wheel and track tractors. Ideal ballasting for wheel tractors will allow for an 8 to 12 percent slip and track tractors for 2 to 5 percent slip. You'll want to check your tractor's operating manual for proper ballast recommendations and you'll want to ballast for each implement. Doing so will also help extend the life of drivetrain components. Keeping tires properly inflated can help too. Underinflated tires can cause more drag which burns more fuel. Overinflated tires can cause excessive slippage, decreased productivity, and poor fuel efficiency. Guidelines provided by your tire manufacturer are based on the amount of weight the tire carries. You'll want to check those guidelines as well as the recommendations in your tractor's operating manual. Most importantly, you'll want to shift up and throttle back. The technical explanation is to reduce your engine speed to about 75% of rated speed and shifting to a faster gear to maintain your desired field speed. Or in plain terms, just shift up a gear or two and reduce the throttle. This saves fuel and really pays off in light load operations or those chores that require less than 65% of full engine power. Again, be sure to check your tractor's operating manual for guidelines on staying within the engine RPM working range. Now, shifting and throttling back does take some getting used to, and you'll need to make adjustments on the go to improve your fuel efficiency. Tractors with an infinitely variable transmission, like the John Deere IVT, take the guesswork out of the equation. An IVT works automatically, shifting up and throttling back, or vice versa, hundreds of times a minute. And according to the Nebraska Tractor Test Lab, the authority on tractor fuel efficiency, an IVT can deliver fuel savings of 40% when compared to manual transmissions. You also can take advantage of John Deere's field cruise option. Here, you maintain a constant ground speed even as the load of the tractor changes. Simply set an upper RPM parameter and the tractor keeps you from over revving the engine. This in turn saves fuel. Using a global positioning satellite system like the John Deere AutoTrack can also help. Not only will it lower fuel consumption by reducing overlap and the number of trips across the field, it'll help trim other inputs such as seed and chemical usage. Finally, keeping your tractors in top shape can help too. Be sure to complete regularly scheduled maintenance, like changing the oil, 
cleaning the air filters and checking tire pressure. By following these easy steps, you'll get as much work out of every gallon of diesel that's possible and stretch every tank. To learn more about which tractors are more fuel efficient, you can talk with your local John Deere dealer, visit the John Deere website, or read the official reports at the Nebraska Tractor Test Lab website. To learn more about John Deere products and gain some valuable tips on maximizing fuel efficiency, visit cattleman2cattleman.org.